In 2025, guys, we saw insane technology. Yeah, you've got to admit, it's been ridiculous. 1,200 kilowatt fast charging, yeah? Uh, we've seen incredible new energy density with batteries. We've seen battery pack prices continue to fall. And we've also seen the rise of these incredible long-range e-revs with huge batteries in them. That Really, the technology in these 800-volt architectures, super fast charging speed, and 500 kilometers of EV only range. That's what we saw in 2025. This is a little bit of a taste of what we're gonna see in 2026. This year is gonna be unbelievable. Stellantis' Chinese partner, Leap Motor, they increased their sales by about 105% last year versus the previous year. So that means they're actually the second fastest growing global car company. Their EVs are incredibly good value and they have a new minivan, which, well, it makes the Chrysler Pacifica look like some kind of ancient dinosaur. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. What is this new Leap Motor vehicle? And why, do I even, why should you care about Leap Motor cars? Well, for one, they're sold in more than 50 countries worldwide. And there is an e-rev version of this car, right? A hybrid version, which has an 80 kilowatt hour battery. I think that's actually the biggest battery we've ever seen in a hybrid. There is also a fully electric version, which has 447 miles of range. Personally, I'm a huge fan of vans. I don't understand the craze for SUVs. I think, um, you know, mid-sized SUV, if that's what works for you, it makes sense. But a lot of people, what they do is they go buy something like a Toyota Land Cruiser, and it's really not fit for purpose. I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, they don't drive off-road. They just drive the kids to school, and it doesn't make any sense. They're cumbersome. They use huge amounts of fuel. And they've got less space than a minivan or an MPV. So the Leap Motor lineup, right? It's they've brought out this new MPV, which will be a rival, but more affordable than the Zika 009 and the Lee Auto Mega. But it's going to be a, a really good rival, probably in terms of price for the Xpeng X9. The D99, it's a pretty simple looking car, and I think it looks good. I mean, I think for a, a a van they've done a really good job and it does actually look like other leap motors so it's sort of a, a unique leap motor type style the range extended version has an 800 volt platform with a massive 80.3 kilowatt hour battery meaning it's the largest battery of any vehicle that's a hybrid on the market and that means it's well the, the only kind of comparable vehicle with a battery that nearly that size is the Zika 9X range extender. That has a 70 kilowatt hour battery. Now guys, the new Xpeng X9 e-rev, that has a 63 kilowatt hour battery. I personally think 63 kilowatt hour battery in, a, in an e-rev is enough, but you know, according to Leap Motor, the D99 e-rev will give you 500 kilometers of range or 311 miles of fully electric driving just from the battery. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm not even sure this makes sense because uh, I think maybe a smaller battery might make a bit more sense. But anyway, it's pretty awesome. So the combustion engine is a 1.5 litre four cylinder. It's a very, very simple en engine. It's just meant to recharge the battery. It doesn't power any of the wheels like a plug-in hybrid does or like some do anyway. The D99, the fully electric version, which is the one I'd be going for, has a 1,000 volt architecture. So this is kind of the reason why BYD CEO said the company is falling behind its rivals in terms of technology, which I've been saying now for a while and I've been blacklisted by BYD for saying that. But then the CEO went and said it. So anyway, 1,000 volt architecture and a 115 kilowatt hour battery from CATL, meaning it has 720 kilometers of range. That's 447 miles. That's CLTC. So WLTP has about the same range as the Xpeng X9, which is about 600 kilometers or just over, probably about, probably just over 600 kilometers WLTP, about 400 miles of range. So really 
I can't see why you'd need any more range than that, especially when it's going to have really fast charging speed as well, as you can imagine with a 1000 volt architecture. We haven't seen the inside. We haven't seen any other details really other than what I've just shared with you. Um, but a 1000 volt architecture, a legitimate 600 kilometers of range, 400 miles of range for the EB version, the world's biggest battery in an E-Rev or any sort of hybrid in the hybrid version, this car's going to sell well. I really hope it comes to markets outside of China soon. I know it's going to. I mean, the Leap Motor are a very much a global car company now, but it's just about how long it takes. And if you're looking for a large electric SUV, maybe this is going to be a better choice. Not maybe, almost certainly. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below. There is now a huge number of coming electric cars, E-Revs. They're gonna be using this new hybrid battery. It's a combination of sodium ion cells with lithium ion cells. Absolutely fascinating because it really does overcome the one downside to lithium batteries, which is their performance in extremely cold temperatures. You look, you're talking about minus 30 degrees Celsius. They really don't like it. Put sodium in the battery pack and everything changes. Now, this new EV with a hybrid sodium lithium ion phosphate battery and a 1000 volt architecture is actually pretty damn awesome. I haven't done a whole lot of videos about plug-in hybrids and e-revs, but things are really changing in this sector and it is gonna make a lot of the old vehicles obsolete, particularly um, some of the newer cars we're seeing today. The Zika 9X, which is coming to Australia, markets outside of China, that has about 400 kilometers of EV only range.